is is fine by me. Uh, Sergio Garcia came into the day with a two shot lead down in Miami. He was eventually caught actually by multiple players. At one point uh, on the back nine, five players: Burmester, Louis Hazen, Garcia, Terrell Hatton, and Matthew Wolf all shared the lead. Burmester grabbed the solo lead with a birdie at the drivable 16th, but bogey the difficult par for 18th, as you probably saw, after an errant drive. Meanwhile, Garcia, who was in those, those trees over there. Meanwhile, Garcia grabbed the lead with a 40-foot birdie putt at 17, but he three-putted the 18th to fall back into a tie. That forced the playoff. Matching pars in the first playoff hole. Garcia then, of course, found the water in his approach shot on 18th. Burmester safely landed on the green. He two-putted for par from there to win. Afterwards, Dean had this to say about what he accomplished. Roll it. Man, it was a long day. This is a, this is a tough golf course. But I think, you know, getting paired up with Louis helped me a lot. Kind of kept me calm, you know. It didn't help. He kept draining all those putts, though. I was kind of doing my own thing, and then he just made putt after putt. But I thought we were going to have a good battle, kind of stinger against stinger. And, yeah, unfortunately, it didn't go his way. But, man, it was a... A special day, certainly one I won't forget. You know, I was I was a little disappointed. I I knew 18 was playing tough, um, but yeah, I was I was more disappointed in my first effort um, in regulation play for par. That wasn't my best effort, was it? But I was proud of the way I knocked the next one in. And you know, I played great all day. I didn't make a bogey until that hole, and you know, hung around. And I heard Sergio made a long putt. I mean, I had a cameraman. Do you want to know what Sergio did? Do you want to know? I said no. I don't want to know what he did. So, you know, just chipped it out. And But, yeah, I, w- I went to the putting green. My teammates, that's where it's super special. That's what makes it special is Brandon and Charles and Louis are like, it's not over yet. He's hit it to like 60 feet. It's not over yet. Go hit some putts. So, yeah, I just went with my family, and we all walked down onto the putting green, and I hit a couple putts. And, and then, obviously, he missed it, and it was like a little sense of calm kind of came over me, and I was, I was ready to get business done. It was cool. Yeah, it's special because, you know, coming over, obviously I was, I was coming over to three friends and um, I was excited about that. But I also wanted to prove myself against a lot of the best players in the world, you know, a lot of major champions. And, um, yeah, now that I've done that, you know, a year and a half in, I'm super, super stoked and I'm proud of myself. And now we're going to try and do it again. Afterwards, when I had that four footer, I wasn't even nervous, you know, because we play enough money games and matches to know that I've got to make those four footers. So... I just stood over there and I said, it's like any other Tuesday and knocked it right in the middle. And um, yeah, when they came with the champagne, it was, it was pretty special. Louis got me right in the face, which I think was his goal. So <laughs> yeah, but it, it's special to have, you know, three great friends like that in the green and my family and my kids and their families and the whole Stinger crew was here this week. So it, it's super special to win when everyone's here. All right, Legion 13 was led by John Rahm's three under 69. Caleb Surratt at uh, 70, Hatton at 71. Vincent had a 77. He finished it one over for the day and 22 for the week. I thought he was going to cost them their chance, but ultimately he didn't. They were in command for a large part of the day until Hatton started struggling off the tee. Vincent hit that patch with four consecutive bogeys. John Rahm, though, led the way, held it together. Here they are after the win. You know, as far as my my week goes, I think today was the day I I struck the ball the best. Uh, Made a couple putts and gave myself a lot of good chances. Um... I think that what could have made this round even more incredible is if, you know, after the tee shot, 2011, 12, and 1, those three holes, to play them two over par is, is what I think cost me even having a chance to, to win it individually, uh, especially down the stretch. I birdie 18, give us a, a nice little four-shot cushion, smash it down the first fairway and shank it in the water. That was, um, that was not what I had in mind. Uh, but... You know, it was fun. It's fun to, when even if you don't have a chance to win it as, a, as an individual going down the stretch, still feel the same nerves that you would, right? I mean, we're going, I was, I'm going down the second fairway with a one or two shot lead. It's, uh made that second shot and part a lot harder. Uh, I'm just thanking God that that ball kept rolling and that I find in the hole. Well, I, I guess that we, so, so far we've done well on, on challenging golf courses. Um, I think more importantly this week, though, was to bounce back after how we finished last in Hong Kong. I think that was, we were all pretty sad about that. So, um, yeah, to come back out next event and, and win as a team is, is great. And, yeah, now we look forward to Adelaide. 
I'd say so. Um, and the best part for us is that, you know, I, I don't think either of us has played even, you know, what I would say their best golf uh, for a whole week. I feel like uh, all of us have had some rounds where we left quite a few shots out there. And I know, you know, some rounds might not count, but I think, uh, yeah, I think exactly. Yeah, it's it's a lot of good to look forward to when uh, all of us show up to a tournament when we're all playing B plus or A game because uh, either one of us four is capable of winning individually in any given tournament, and I'm looking forward to that day for that day to happen. Anytime you can go to a challenging, demanding golf course before a major championship, I think it's a really good way to prepare for it. Those greens were they were fast, they they were difficult, and I think. It gets you in the mentality of fighting for every shot, right? So I think it was a great week, and uh, hopefully I can keep doing all the good things I've done this week, next week, and uh, avoid a couple silly mistakes and uh, hopefully go back to back. Um, this is obviously the first major that you're playing since joining Liv. Now you're a bit removed from Scotty Scheffler and Roy McIlroy. Do you feel like there's an extra element to the battle at the Masters next week between the three of you? No. I mean, the Masters is the Masters. Uh, I don't think there's uh, any difference whether you play a PGA Tour, Live European Tour, or Sunshine Tour. It really doesn't make a difference. Uh, major's a major. You could have asked me the same question last year with some of the Live players coming in, right? Um, so I wouldn't say there's, uh, there's anything added to it, no. God, be, being a major and, and maybe not playing for your team, I can't, go, I can't think, I can't tell you that I'm thinking about you know, the players that maybe should be there, shouldn't be there, right? Uh, I think I have enough on my plate going into next week, uh, trying to win another one. So uh, it would be a great story if one of us were to do it, right? And be great to support it, but uh, not that it's going to be in my mind, though. No. Uh, Ron, I just wanted to ask, what's your favorite dish going into the Champions Dinner uh, on the menu? Uh, man, we, with all the respect, to everybody cooking that week, uh, I still have to say my grandma's. I hope they can. I hope they can get close. Uh, it probably, probably not, because in my mind I have it built up to you know obviously whatever grandma and mama's cooking is always going to be better than anybody else's, right? Even though if we follow the recipe to a T, for some reason it always tastes different. So uh, that lentils too is is definitely the highlight for me.